Yo, what up, GG Nation, GG Legion, your fella again, Strauss Man, the GG, and welcome to another episode of Strauss Man Reacts, and it's going to be to the Tekken 7 reveal of Noctis. I already knew about this reveal, so I already knew, I didn't watch the reveal trailer, but I knew I was watching the Tekken 7 Grand Finals yesterday, um, so everyone was talking about it, and Neo Gaff and everything, so I already knew the guest character that was announced but i didn't see the trailer so we're gonna react to it shout out to joel he brought this to my attention but again i already knew because i was watching tekken 7 already grand files of watching the losers bracket but then i stopped for a little while and then came back and watched the finals um but let's check it out and i'll tell you what i think about uh the guest characters because they did announce that in the season pass for tekken 7 the guest characters would uh, i mean the all all four characters would be guest characters. So let's check it out. Let's go. Let's see what, what we think of it. Okay. <laughs> A friend's request. Ah, Nocto, Darika, Dela, Mesrosina, Sidiaka, Janeshi, Narufono, Nazkaka, Shikatanai, Shokuza, no Chotas Mare, Cocoa, Oregai, Honda. お前が行くと時間がかかるからな。え、何どこ行くの大体予想はついたぜ。なら俺に任すとか。ああ、何それ。絶対面白いやつでしょ。俺が速攻終わらせてくるかんね。で、どこで何すんのいや、だから俺が
じゃあ待ってろ I like、Ooh, let's see. やっぱこの釣りは最高だなおっあかうそすまないエニルレイセット2018、right? Spring DLC3、so who was the second DLC character? I thought this was the second DLC character. Okay, it says DLC 3, so he is the second character. <laughs> But let me tell you what I really think about it. I think it's very smart, very cool. Would I rather see someone else from Final Fantasy to be in this game? In Tekken 7? That's, that's cool. This, this guest character, what I originally thought, they were going to have guest characters from all, like a whole bunch of fighting games. They said all four guest characters would be from. I, I really thought they would be from other fighting games, like historic fighting games. Like, we're getting Geese Howard as the first DLC fighter, you know, from King of Fighters. That's an epic. And I, and I also thought deep down, even though we had Akuma, I figured we would get Ryu as well. I know they ready, or maybe some Soul Calibur rep, maybe, crossover, because that, you know, same company.、Um, and T's Soul Calibur 6, maybe, that everyone's hinting about. Which would be epic, by the way. I'm really stoked if that ends up being true.、Uh, but I think this really opens the door of guest characters now. Like, who are the other two guest characters g o n n a be? It has a lot of people buzzing. I have a lot of people talking about it. It's, it's it really interesting.、Uh, it's really opened the door wide open for guest characters. But this is really brilliant because there is a Final Fantasy fighting game, you know, Dissidia, coming、uh, January. 30th, I think, or sometime in January, the, there's a new Final Fantasy fighting game in Dissidia, and I believe Noctis is in it. So, not only do you promote that game, you promote Final Fantasy、uh, 15, and you also promote Tekken 7 as well. And is Lars going to make, a, make an appearance maybe in Dissidia, or maybe some sort of Tekken character will make an appearance in Dissidia? And let's just face it, man, as much as people don't like. Guest characters, guest characters sell the most. They always, and I'm always in favor of them. And it's honestly Soul Calibur 2 is the, the fighting game to really start that. Like, everyone, like they started and everyone kind of follows suit,、uh, uh, follow suit with it. And, you know, Soul Calibur was basically the first fighting game saying, hey, we're going to always have guest characters, at least one. But now it's kind of getting to a string of many,、uh, especially Injustice has quite a few. Guest characters, and they had that one big reveal of TMT. So I really like it. I think it's he looks really fun to play as, as much as you guys know that I am not the biggest fan of Final Fantasy 15. Like, I need to finish it. I only have six hours in where I, you know, I beat Persona. I beat and got Persona and, you know, put 108 hours and beat it like instantly. Like, that's how much I love Persona. Which would have been cool if there was like a Persona character, maybe like Makoto or something in here, which I saw some people talk about on NeoGAF and stuff. That would have been really cool. Or the protagonist or something from Persona. That had been epic. And maybe, who knows? Noctis really opens the door for anybody now. Now we don't know. Like, like I said, I thought it was going to be a theme of a whole bunch of epic fighting game legends coming into a guest, being guests in the Tekken, like Geese Howard. And, you know, so. You know, but it looks like this has changed it up. This is a huge curveball, and I like it. And I think it's really, really good. And I think it's interesting. And I know some people are very mixed on it, just like Final Fantasy XV. But I think it's smart to have this guest character because you promote basically three games at once. You know, Tekken 7, your own game. You promote Dissidia and Final Fantasy XV. Really cool partnership, Square and Bandai Namco teaming up for this. But we'll see where it goes down to,、uh, goes from here. And, like, what are your final two guesses? I don't know anymore. I was going to say Ryu would be one of them, but not anymore. Not with this. I think they instantly are. Even with Akuma in this game already, I figured they would still put Ryu or somebody else in here. So, but I don't know. I don't know now. This is really interesting. I think, I think his moves look really cool, his rage art looks awesome. It'd be cool to customize them a little bit, because everyone he's fighting is customized 
from all the you know the currency you earn from game you can buy extra clothes and stuff and i can believe that i believe you could do that with anybody so he should be able to be um you should be able to change his his gear up to kind of like injustice 2 in a lot of ways um but that's more of an aesthetic thing in Tekken 7. It doesn't really give you any special properties. Some might give you extra moves. But usually it doesn't give you any extra bonuses or anything like that. But, you know, definitely definitely very interesting. I think it's very cool. You know, he had a parry. His parry looked really epic. It's it's really interesting. Um, tell me in the comments below if you like this. Was Noctis your thing? Or was this like, no, I, I'm not feeling it. Seems like when I was watching the grand finals, the Tekken crowd was kind of so-so on it. Like, the announcers were so-so on it. I think it's smart. I think guest characters are brilliant. I think this is great marketing between Square Enix and Bandai Namco. Market three games in one. Uh, like I said, you know, we probably would rather have, you know, Tifa or Cloud or somebody else. But it's okay. You know, Noctis, that's the newest Final Fantasy game that came out. Promote him. Get him in there so you people pick up that game. People pick up Tekken 7, and then they're going to pick up Dissidia in January, you know, with all that Christmas money they get. So it's really, really brilliant marketing. Tell me in below if you like the, con you know, just let me know down below. But like, comment, subscribe. The support on the channel has been through the roof. I really appreciate it, GG Nation, GG Legion. I know for most YouTubers, those views don't mean nothing to any, you know, that's a very small muse to them, but views to them. But to me, they mean the world. It really 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 means a lot it really does like comment subscribe to your boy strauss man the gg the golden god himself posing posing um but yeah we'll, we'll i'll have some stuff coming up for you we'll have an anime time tomorrow uh with with chad and we'll i'll save what it is but stay tuned for that thank you so much gg nation gg legion your fellow strauss man the gg He's outie.